Hi and welcome to this third video in the series on getting started with the IBM SmartCloud Enterprise platform. Today we're going to take a look at how we actually go about provisioning Windows servers on the IBM SmartCloud. So without further ado, as with the Linux uh, video, if you watch that, we're in the same place, the control panel and instances, we're very really logged in. Um, if this is the first video you're watching in the series, then there is a video, um, first video we did on getting started with the IBM Smart Cloud, logging in, understanding what the different tabs do and mean. So please go back and review that. If not, if you're well aware of where we are and what we're doing, um, we'll crack on. So to start off, we hit Add Instance. Um, same as before, but we'll have a quick recap. Public is the public IBM Global Catalog. Uh, available to anyone who has an IBM Smart Account, Smart Cloud account. Uh, my images are images that I have actually snapshotted and have stored for future provisioning. And shared images are images that have been uh, basically used by other people, and they've obviously offered them up and shared them to me, um, either in a private environment, so we can actually share privately or publicly sharing them across uh, multiple Smart Cloud accounts. Now, the data center piece, this basically selects where in the world we actually go about provisioning um, our servers from. Today, we're going to provision into uh, Boulder, USA. So we're going to provision a Windows server over there. So once again, we're left with a whole selection of pre-built Windows server offerings, um, Red Hat server offerings, and uh, Suzy server offerings. But what we're really interested in is the blank um, server 2008 R2 64 bit operating system. So let's select that and hit next. So once again, we need to give it a unique name. So we'll give it test windows. This only needs to be unique within your smart cloud account. So you can call it whatever you want and you can change it as soon as you provisioned it. So don't think that this is going to stay there forever or this is some sort of way of um, IBM having a unique ID of your server. Same as before, we've got copper, bronze, silver, gold and platinum server configurations ranging from two vCPUs up to 16, four gigabytes of memory up to 16 and 60 gigabytes of local disk up to two terabytes of local disk. So once again, as we did with the Linux video, we're going to add just a simple 60 gigabyte copper image. Um, minimum local disk. This gives us the capability to be able to install just the base operating system um, so that we don't end up with 60 gigs worth of um, storage for a 4 gig server 2008 install. Um, <clears throat> we're going to leave that unticked for now, but you could tick that should you want to, uh, to take that option. Um, once again, networking. We've got the public internet or our private networks, depending on whether or not we've purchased them separately from IBM. Simply purchased with the um, account order form, and these can be added or removed at any point during your Smart Cloud account's life cycle. Um, then, obviously, should we have a private virtual network in place, we can then select to take specific IP addresses and assign those to our. Uh, our Windows Server. Um, as with the Linux video, um, you can add storage. So, obviously, the storage that's um, part and parcel of this server configuration is not persistent. As soon as we delete this uh, Windows Server, we will we will in turn lose that storage. So, if you don't want it to happen and you've got data that you want to be persistent, you know whether or not the server is there, or you want to be able to migrate storage from server A to server B to server C, maybe a test, UAT, um, and then production type environment where you want to move it up the chain. You can do that very easily by just reprovisioning and uh, reattaching the storage at, at each point to the new servers. So hit next. Now, unlike with the Linux instance, we don't need to provision um, keys for this particular server. We don't need any um, public private key authentication to actually access the server. What we do need though is we need to create a specific Windows account for us to log in for the first time. So this account can be anything um, 
barring guest or administrator, because obviously they're already local accounts with Service 2008 and uh, Service 2003. So I normally just use admin, then we give it a password. It has to comply with the Service 2008 uh, password specifications, so alphanumeric and a capital. And hit next. Get a quick um, overview of the variables we've just configured. Hit next. Agree to the terms and conditions. And as with before, we just submit the job to the provisioning workflow that's uh, sitting inside of these cloud data centers. And in a few seconds, the job will kick off and start to provision our Windows instance. Okay, so our server's just finished provisioning and is now in the active status. So that means we can go and connect to it. So let's simply take the IP address, copy that, open up our RDP client, and then paste that IP address in. Hit connect. Now, I've already connected to this once, so my uh, password, my, not my password, my username and the host name of the server are actually cached. Um, but should that not be the case, it's simply a case of clearing out all the domains and previous host names and adding admin and the password that we also specified during the processing provision, uh, the provisioning process. Hit OK. Say yes, we're going to not worry about the security error for now or the certificate error. And we're in. And this brings us to the end of our uh, three video tutorials on getting started with the Smart Cloud Enterprise platform. Um, please feel free to comment on the YouTube page. Um, anything you'd like to see in the future, please, please put down there and we'll uh, endeavor to, to put it up. Um, and any other questions, please feel free to contact me at david.fern at arrowecs.co.uk. And uh, yeah, more than happy to help. Thank you very much for listening and uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon. Cheers. Bye.